<sighs> uh, we're here. Finally. I can't believe we're actually here after all that traffic. Yeah, we are. Um, here you go. Great. Um, I'll text you when I get home. Last night was amazing. We should do this again. Oh, 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 no, no, no. We shouldn't do this again. I don't get. Um, last night was um, a night and, uh, you know, it was fun. Yeah, but you shouldn't text me and I shouldn't text you. Come on, don't tell me you didn't enjoy it because I did. Don't tell me you don't know the term called um, one night stand. I put it there on my Tinder bio. That's, that's, that's all I'm looking for. That's all I want. Nobody actually means what they write on their dating sites. Come on. You don't get it, do you? So here's the thing. This is, this is what I do. I pick up random, beautiful women like yourself. Of all shapes and sizes. Tiny, skinny, fat, extra thick, skinny thick. All of them. And uh, that's, that's what it is. It's not more than that, honestly. So? It's not like I'm asking you to marry me. Just let's have last night was a one night stand, and that is all it's going to be. What do I have to offer you apart from heartbreak? God, what the hell is wrong with you? Listen, I, I may not know what's wrong with me, but I do know that I don't have time for this emotional nonsense. You're a bastard, you know that, right? Please take it easy, don't uh slam my you're very stupid. Go to hell, oh, idiot. Too bad. I leave there already. Who goes? Timoski. Hey, Brose. How far now, my guy? My ah. G. Tech guru. I will go now. Let me see you again now. Wait, so, Naso. Ah. Naso, you dress to go. Go where? Have you forgotten already? Remind me now. I had food these days, I beg. Color's party now. Color? Who be color? Ah. My guy, we meet the other day. He even invited you by himself. Oh, Kola! Ah, Kola, I want to. I don't go film it, come on. Why? I beg, I don't get any dinner until they meet strangers or to they go where plenty of food. But me, I will be there and Kola himself will be there too. We we'll can't be stranger now. But not only 12 and I go there. Like, not only 12 and I go known for there. Abi? Ah. And you know, say, normally, when I turn a woman rapper, as we just land, now don't push. I feel no see you again till the next day. My day, my day, yeah? Yeah, no be so. No be so. At least if, if, if we just try show, maybe say this guy he invited you by himself. No be so now. Guy. Ah, your papa will call you. So? <laughs> Eti. Eh? You will not go to party. You will not pick your calls. Should we be worried? Uh -uh. Worry now. Say if I'm worried. Wait, no, just clear me. What's in the happen, bros? I don't get. How two people don't meet? Say they want to punch. That's why I tell enter the world. Next thing I don't grow, no least so, 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 so bills now they pay. You will not go for party. Mm -hmm. You still will not pick your calls. Mm -hmm. Should we be worried? Ah, worry now. Say if I'm worried. Mm -hmm. No, clear me. What's in the apple now? Tell me what's in the apple. I don't want the... Ah, ah. How two people go meet? The size they go punch. Come punch. Come bring me into the world. Now nah, I don't grow now. Only bill, bill, bill. It's within RDP. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Oh my God. See, eh? You know what? I beg. Maybe just they go my parts. You understand? If anything, what I would do now to pay bill and die, eh? Rest, Make I die in depression, I beg. Get company work tomorrow. See you later, bro. All right, my G. <laughs> Take it easy. Uh.
All right. No break third leg. You've seen the alert, right? Not a problem. If we don't see it, we'll call you. No problem. <clears throat> Thank you for choosing us, sir. Thank you. your driver from Roman Ridge Executive Car Services. It's too much. Too much pain. Do what? I don't understand. I'm so tired. But it's okay. When I do it, I'll finally have some peace. Madam, can you please calm down and tell me what you're talking about? Don't tell me to calm down! You don't know what it's like to live in pain every day. At least, when I die, it'll stop. Everything will stop. Um, madam, I can't claim to understand what you're going through, but I promise you... No, you don't. So don't promise me anything. I just wanted you people to know that I'm out of this world. So, thank you for your service. I'll finally have some peace. My service? Yes. You're the only reason I'm still alive. Um, can you please tell me how we are helping keep you alive? What? I mean, you just complimented our service, madam. We would like to hear from you what it is exactly that we do for you. Your money, that organization that helps people like me. Oh, money, yeah. We are very proud of what we do, madam. It, it, it doesn't matter anyway. Tell my family that I tried. I really did. Um, madam, can you please calm down? One second, please. Hold on. Why? Uh, hello? Um. Yes, yes, I'm here. Your family? Is this what you tell me to think about them? Because if I'm gone, they won't worry about me anymore. <sighs> Madam, actually, we worry. We at Manny, we worry, okay? You may think you're not important, but if anything were to happen to any of our clients, it takes us years to even get our heads back in the game. What? Okay. Where are you now? Do I sound like I want to be rescued? M Madam, I have a confession. I'm here. I'm just so tired. What's your name, ma? Lara. Lara. Please, I have a confession. Can I go ahead? I guess. Okay. I'm not from money. What? I don't know how you got my number, but I'm not from Mentally Aware Nigeria Initiative. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to go. I have to go. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Madam? Oh, sir. Yes, yes. I, I'm your driver, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at the Oguni Adebi Secret Center right now. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm two minutes away. Yeah, you see me now.
come on, come on, man. <sighs> Roti me, why don't you ever pick your calls, bro? Why? Bro, please, please, please. Those tracker guys that people use, do you, do, you, do you still have them? It doesn't matter. Please, please. I need you to help me track a number. Please, it's very important. Oh, guy, please now. It's a matter of life and death. Literally, please. One of my friends, I, th I think she's suicidal. Yes, yes. I did call her, but she knew they pick up. All right, thanks, man. Thanks, man. I'll send it to you right away. I think I know what to do. Oh, shit. Yes! Wrote to me half an hour. What's up, bro? What's up? Okay, okay, okay. So, so what should I do now? Wait, okay. Hold on. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <sighs> Madam Lara. Hello, Madam Lara. This is Rock V Hospital. I know every hospital that my mother uses, and Grace V Hospital isn't one of them. Uh, we're Numa. I know it's you. Me who? The guy that I just called. I spoke to my mom before I called you. Do you think I'm an idiot? All right, all right, fine, fine. Well, since you know it's me, then you know I'm just trying to help, right? I told you. You can't help me. Nobody can. It took me a long time to make this decision. And if you stop me today, then I'll just do it tomorrow. All right, but, but who's talking about stopping you, though? What? I'm, okay. I mean, what method are you going to use? I mean, you must have thought this true. Are you going to jump? Are you going to use chemical drugs? to me what's up now talk to me thank you so much bro thank you thank you thank you thank you miss lara are you there okay so what method are you going to use i mean you must have thought this true i was going to od yeah most people that want to od sometimes their survival instinct kicks in and then they try to save themselves they don't just factor it in trust me i did the math yeah that's the thing you, you see um with, with with overdose, sometimes your survival instincts will kick in and then you try to save yourself halfway. You know, people don't factor that in when they are when they are when they are on it. Tell me more. Everything you said is correct. You seem to know a lot about the subject. Yeah, well, well let's just say I have, I have a background. I have a, back, I have a history with that topic. Uh, babe, I, I thought you said you weren't coming back for lunch. That is why you are lazy about her. All you do is sit down and gossip. Jeez, calm down, man. It's not like that now. Welcome. Hey, come on, don't hug me. Are you mad? Is that why you pushed me like that? Andrew, you started. Is it me you're talking to like that? Is it me you're talking to? What? I live here every day to get the money that you spend like a fool, and as making lunch, you cannot. Crying out loud. How stupid! Fuck! Get 
damn it, man! By the time I leave you and get back and my food is not ready, that is when you see my truth. How can one person be this useless? What kind of guy is this? No wonder she wants to kill herself. When I always see your true colors. What about the meat you said you were going to get? See? This is the same thing I am talking about. Always nagging. I told you that they are going to bring it. But here you are nagging. Why are you nagging? Tell me. They are going to bring your meat. Okay, let's go, let's go. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Just hang tight if you can hear me. Hang tight. Hang tight. I see where you are on the map. I'm, I'm, I'm close. Hang tight. Hang tight. This guy's an asshole. This guy's an ass. Abuki, I don't know. Eh, uh, Madam Lara, say make I bring delivery for him. Eh, bring him. Oh no, no, no. It's make I deliver him to him personally, na special meet. Ah. Bring something make I give him. Wait, where are you to talk? Look, see text where you send me. You see him? Huh? You make I deliver him to him directly. So you understand. So if you want, if you follow me, we will go give him. But with the follow go, I don't know the one where they come to say Nathaniel know they doing work. Wait now, you got the wrong go inside person. Well done, Madam Lara. Uh, I beg, this guy say he bring a uh, delivery. Say you say make he carry and come. Ah, uh, Madam, now the meat where he say make I carry come. I did surprise self say he say make I carry and come inside. Outside the tunnel. What? The meat now. Oh, the meat. Uh, make I put them inside now. Make her now. No best ma. I I didn't see in the live before. Uh, it's okay, Nathaniel. Thank you. It's you, isn't it? Well, it depends. She's still mistaking me for a mentally aware staff. The meat thing. How did you know? Um, you didn't hang up when you walked in. When who walked in? Um, look, I'm sorry. I came here under false pretense. I, um, I mean, immediately I had the slap. I just had to do something. Why? 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 Why, why I came to see if you're still alive? 
Yes. Why? People fight with their boyfriends all the time, don't they? <laughs> Come on, Lara. That was not a fight. Seriously, like... Well, if you insist, I'm just happy that you're alive, that's all. Well, you did go to all the trouble. So help me get this right. You guys have been together for four years with no intentions of marrying you, but he fancies turning you into a punching bag. Don't do that. Don't do what? Don't judge me. Oh, no, no. I'm not trying to judge you, Lara. I'm just trying to understand. No, oh, please. Everyone judges me. In the club when he calls me a bitch in the presence of his friends. Or at events when he grabs my hands forcefully. I see you all judging me. I mean, are, are we so wrong for doing that? You know what I don't see? I don't see you all giving me all the things that he gives me. Oh. What exactly does he give you? Black eye after black eye after black eye? Too forward. Lara. I think I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Well, don't just sit there. Oh, okay. Do you need me to help you wash them? Sorry, I'm not used to being helped in here. Yes, please wash them. Thank you. Sure. It's crazy that I'm peeling cucumbers, right? Like, who does that? <laughs> Must be something he likes. Right again. Two over ten. Look, I am... Um, for all Andrew's faults, he has actually given me a chance at a good life. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the money. Oh, really? The money? You can be sarcastic all you want, but if you had been in my condition when I met him, you'd have done the exact same thing. Okay, what condition is that? Maybe... I don't know the full story. Hmm. Poor. The kind of poor that even the poor pities you. Wow, that must have been bad. Bad. <laughs> bad. Have you ever lived on the streets? <laughs> okay, hold on. I don't see it. You don't see what? I lived on the streets for over 10 years. No, I don't see that the guy that you described and the one I had over the phone actually decided to date somebody from the streets. Well, he didn't exactly meet me on the streets. I was a hotel owner's executive assistant and he wanted to do some kind of collaboration with Andrew. And he was always trying to impress him. So he would have me stay back with him sometimes. Oh, and then one thing led to one thing, right? You could say that. I see. So why didn't you just quit the job? Why didn't you just get another job? With which certificates? My work. The only reason I had that job to start with was because I was sleeping with the hotel owner. Wow, wow, that's a lot of sleep. I'm sorry. Okay, so since you were making some money, why didn't you like use the money to enroll yourself in the school? I mean, you already had, a, had your O level. And have my siblings and my mom's staff. Ah, 
she said I kind of like understand it. Do you? Do you really understand? Are you angry? No. Lara. I said I'm not upset, okay? Okay. Listen, I know how this looks, but I just couldn't leave. I mean, my family was finally going to stop suffering. Look, all this would have made sense when you were dead broke. Not now, you're no longer dead broke. Have you ever been poor? No, uh, maybe, maybe no. I didn't think so. Otherwise, you would know how easy it is to go back there. All I'm saying is there are men out there, a lot of them, that will take good care of you, do the same exact things this guy's doing for you without having to abuse you. Easy to say. Until somebody starts touching your sister inappropriately because she's hawking pure water. Okay, but what about the fact that you are actually human and you just have to be treated better? Hmm. Well, I should have thought about that before having me come from the gutters. You have this whole thing thought out, don't you? Anyway, hold on, hold on. Just one more thing. What? <sighs> what if you die? What if this guy actually kills you? It's not that difficult to die, you know. One push, one wrong shove, and you're gone. Did I need you to believe that I loved my life the first time we spoke? Do you do a lot of cooking? Yeah. No wonder. You seem to know your way around the kitchen. Bachelor's life, I guess. <laughs> Some bachelors don't know how to cook. Here. <clears throat> don't move, don't even breathe. Uh, hello, babe. Uh, uh, yes, babe. I'm, I'm at home, where else would I be? You left me at home. Yes, I'm sure, babe. I'm home. Uh, babe, there's no need to switch to a video call. Um, uh, uh, hi, babe. What are you doing? I'm cooking. I'm cooking, babe. Let me just turn the phone around. Let me see how my kitchen looks like. Your kitchen yeah, looks Good, babe. <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, babe. <clears throat> okay, can I see the robot of the kitchen? Can I just see the robot uh, of the kitchen? Yeah, yeah, babe. I mean, babe, babe, come on now. There's no need for all this. I, I don't like the way you treat me. I really don't deserve it. Uh, can I go back to cooking now? Are you ready to eat now? I have me a plate. Plates. Not bad. Hmm. So, um, tell me something. Sure. You answer a call from a random stranger. You hear her fighting on the phone with her boyfriend, and then you trace her to her house. What's your deal? I don't have a deal. <laughs> 
Everyone has a deal. You're either completely jobless or... I'm mm. not. So what do you do? I'm a driver. Luxury car services. Seems like I was right the first time. You have issues, Mr... Etim. And I don't. Etim. <laughs> Are you really going to deny a dying woman her last wishes? Can you please not say that? You're not dying. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? That's what? Dying. The fact that I said I wanted to off myself. It's not. And yet, it's the only thing that I have said today that you have had any kind of reaction to. You're wrong. Okay. Okay. I won't say I'm dying then. Can you please stop saying that? But it would be true. Whether today or tomorrow or the day after, I'm not doing this stupid life anymore. Besides, it's just death. Why is everyone so afraid of death? Stop you? saying that. My sister, okay? What's my sister? Five, wait, wait, four, three, wait, two, wait, one. Wait, 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 Hmm? Oh, really? I know you will crush that challenge. Forget it. I hope so. But not just for the tab. I've had mad followers ever since I joined. Mm. But I want them to buy my art. Smally, what do you want money for? <laughs> it's not about the money. The more they buy my art, the, the more I'll feel like a real artist. Mm. Listen, you are as real as any artist gets, okay? You're my brother. Are you telling me I'm good? Ah, you didn't look me less this girl. Are you trying to say I don't know what real art is? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying now. That's not what I'm saying. But this are nice, right? Hello, everybody. <laughs> daddy! <laughs> Welcome, Daddy. Hey, Ima. Welcome. Yeah. I got great news for you. Okay. Good evening, darling. Uh, 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 I think you wait. You need to hear this also. Uh, 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 get your mother for me. <laughs> I heard that. Get me for words. Imabong's admission status is out. She has oh. been offered admission to study Medicine! <laughs> My baby girl! <laughs> you did this! Yeah. Aww. You made us proud. Congratulations to us. <laughs> you made us proud. <laughs> Come on, baby girl. Smile. Hmm? We've been waiting for this good news for two whole years now. I'm. Um, I'm shocked. No, you shouldn't. You should be happy. <laughs> ah! Finally! Someone in this family is doing something right. <laughs> Finally. Somebody is doing what you want. Because if it's not your way, it's the wrong way. Hit him! Come back here! Hit him! <sighs> you see, my dad was used to being in charge. So everyone around him feared and obeyed him, but he was a doctor. Why did I need to become a doctor too? I pleaded with my sister to tell him she had no desire to become a doctor, but she just couldn't. 
She was nine years younger than myself. And by the time she was born, I was already a rebel. So my parents raised her to become the perfect child. The perfection they couldn't get from me. So she just learned to say no to them. And I let her. But this time I just knew she loved art. And she wanted to study the arts. And I tried. Gradually, my sister became a shadow of herself, studying medicine. I thought I was unhappy, but she, that was another level. My parents didn't help. Madam, what is it I hear about your second semester result? I have a carryover, but most of my courses are okay. So you think I pay over a million naira as school fees for you to have okay results and carryovers? Daddy, it's just second semester first year. I'll do better. Better? You think we have the luxury of not being the best? Sweetheart, what your daddy is saying is that you have to be on top of your game. You can't afford any what, failure. What's all this we, we, we? Are you people studying the medicine with her? Let him. This, is, this does not concern you, it's not your business. <laughs> What concerns me, Dad, is the fact that my sister, the happy child of this family, looks like a shadow of herself. So quiet, so sad, so withdrawn. Why you people brag with her at parties? Etim! Watch your language. Mommy, please don't etim me. What do you want us to do? You know I'm speaking the truth. So what do, you, what do you want us to do? No, explain to me. What exactly do you want us to do? We should let her be a mediocre. Is that what you want? All we are doing is the right thing for her. It's okay. And what is wrong with what is best for her also be what is good for us? The fact that she's not a rebel does not mean that she's not happy with her choice. How rich, mom. How rich. So I'm the rebel, eh? It's okay. You guys should stop fighting. I've made my choice. I'll... I'll try my best. I'll study harder, Daddy. Do you see? She knows what is best for her. Hey, bullshit. Young man, you must address your parents with respect. Enough of this trash. You're overdoing this. This is bullshit. Let me tell you people what the problem is. Or let me tell you people what is best for her. Why don't you ask your daughter what she likes to do, what she enjoys doing, and see if studying medicine makes it to the top 20. <laughs> You don't walk out on us. Come back here. Everything I said fell on deaf ears. I couldn't stand it. So I moved out. And my sister, for her, things only got 
worse. My parents didn't care. They just wanted a medical doctor to take over my dad's practice one day and they were going to get it no matter what. Absolutely hated her life. But they, 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 they just won't listen. They just won't listen. She, she shot me out. I mean, I should have stayed. I shouldn't have moved out. I would have gotten through to her one way or another. It's not your fault. Your sister's death is not on you. It's on them. It's on them. But I shouldn't have moved out. I should have stayed there. If I was in that house, one way or another, I would have gotten true to her. That's it. That's it. That's what? The guilt that brought you here. It's not. Here, yeah, right. He's back. Oh my goodness, look at the time. What was, what? I, what was I thinking? <gasps> he's back, he's back. What's he's back. On? He, he's back. Uh, Listen, what? I have to go. You can't go. You can't go. Go where? There's only one way out. I'll see you. You're supposed to see me here, though. Yeah, but just wait, wait, wait. I need to think. I need to think. Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we? What do we? Um, listen, you you have to hide. No, 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 no. I can't hide. You don't have a choice. It's just until we go to take a shower, and then you can leave. Please, you need to hide, hide, hide. Go. Welcome. Are these for me? Yes, of course. Oh, Who else? Thank you. You give the best gifts. I know. I'm sorry I lost my head earlier. You were right. I should have told you I was coming back for lunch. <laughs> what? I'm trying to make things right. <laughs> You're just going to walk away. But that's the problem. You're always trying to make things right. How about you don't make them wrong to start with? What is that supposed to mean? Aren't you tired of doing the same thing over and over again? Because I am. 
But I am doing something. Um, are you hungry? I'll get your food. My food? Yes. You are not eating. I already ate. Without me. When did I start? Um, babe, babe, come on now. I, I, I was hungry. Do I always have to wait for you before I can eat? But you have every snack that you need in this house. I made sure of that. But babe, sometimes the girl is too hungry for snacks. Let's be realistic now. What did you just say? Andrew, please don't start. Andrew, Andrew. What did you say to me? Andrew, Andrew. Andrew, please, please don't start. Don't, don't start, Andrew. Oh. I am the one that starts now, huh? Omalara. Oh, sorry. I walk my fingers to the bone to make sure you have everything that you need. But you cannot do something as little as having dinner with me. Andrew, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Please just let go. You're not eating out with someone. No! Yes, because you're not eating with me, apparently you are eating with someone. So who is this person? Babe, Andrew, Andrew, no. I'm, I'm not, no. Because I know you. All a guy has to do is to credit your account. Insults me. Andrew, insult me, you. Insult me. But you're the one that is sleeping with me. So what does that say about you? What else do you think you are to talk to? <laughs> you're talking to? Baby, baby, please, 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 Andrew, 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 please. What do you think you're talking to? I'm going to kill you here. Andrew, Andrew, to save you. Oh, you are. <laughs> Uh, anything? Any pulse? Something? Nothing. Oh, so what are we going to do now? I, I, I think he's... No, 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 no. Don't say it, don't say it. Don't say it, don't say it. Who's dead? No, no, he can't be! No, 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 no. He can't him. Be no, no. Hey. Oh, shit. Hey! <sighs> Pull yourself together, he's dead! Okay, call, call, call the police. What? Call the police! No, 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 we are not calling the police. We'll deal with this ourselves. How? How? How are we going to deal with this ourselves? What do you think will happen when the police gets here? Well, it's better that they come and arrest us when you start smelling or something. Nobody is arresting anybody. Um, um, um. Okay. How are we gonna deal with this? Seriously? Like how? How are we gonna deal with this by ourselves? How, how are we gonna deal with this? We have to get rid of him. Wait, what? We have to get rid of him and disappear before anyone even realizes that he's gone. How are we gonna get rid of him when your compound is full of other tenants? Well, I don't know. I don't know! All I do know is I'm not going down for this piece of shit! This piece of shit! This is between me and it! Leave me alone, leave me alone! Hey! Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? How are we going to explain this? If we say he fell and, and hit his head somewhere by mistake, how do you explain the injuries to his body? Really? Where are you going? I need to think! Oh my god. Oh my god. I killed someone, I killed someone, I'm a murderer, I'm a murderer. How? How did I get How did I become this person? Oh, no, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Why? I just killed a man! <laughs> defending me. But he's dead! You were defending me. I, I, I can't just pretend that I, I didn't kill someone and, and dispose of his body like it's nothing. So you'd rather go to jail for him? 
Him? Look, look, I'm just a driver, okay? And I have no experience with disposing of dead bodies, don't you get it? Yeah. What's up with that? What's up with what? I mean, you're obviously educated. Or why are you a driver? I, I... Like, right now? <clears throat> you couldn't find anything better to do? Here, we need to stay hydrated and keep our brains sharp. So what do you study? Agriculture. Hmm. So your dad wanted you to study humans, but you chose to study plants instead. <laughs> You're a real rebel. <laughs> plants are less complicated. Hmm. Everything is less complicated than human beings. Besides, I, I wanted to own a very big farm. When I was younger, my mother used to tend to a garden and I really loved doing it with her. And uh, after my s sister, I, I, I just, I just lost it. I had too many things on my mind and I was thinking too much and I still needed to have a job because I had bills to pay. So uh, I thought to myself that driving wouldn't take too much thinking to do. A car. What? A car. That was the first gift that he got me after the first time he hit me. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that was even the best gift that he got me. Do you want to know what the no, best No, no, no. No, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to know. It's not really important right now. I, there's no need. There's no need for that. Oh, really? It's too much, eh? And yet, you are willing to go to jail for him. Lara? Hey. Lara? Lara? Lara, open up now. Can we just talk about this? There has to be another solution. Lara? Okay, look, you, you, you don't have to open the door. Just say something, please. Lara, please, can you say something? I'm losing my mind here now. Lara, I, I'm not on his side. You know this. There's, like, why? Let's just talk about a solution. Let's just find another way out. There has to be another way, please. It's getting late, okay? Can we just rub minds together or something now? Let me know what's going on. Let's find a solution together, please. Ah. Into this in the first place. 
So that's the plan. <laughs> Lara, what are you doing? You were going to leave me here with the corpse. No, I, I no. I, I tried to talk to you, you weren't responding, so I just wanted to. Liar. Filthy, disgusting liar. You came into my house pretending to help me, but you're just like him. Lara, please. I only came here to help. Okay? Please. Just just put the gun down. I will not have one more man tell me what to do. Lara, just listen to me. No! You listen to me. You will follow my instructions to the letter, otherwise you will join him. Now give me your phone. Phone! Upstairs. Up! Ma? Up! Stairs! Oh. Oh. Now! Ah, please, I beg you in the name of God. Hey, who be that? Hold on. Good afternoon, sir. Uh -huh. From Mitty Fresh. I have a delivery for Miss Lara. Mitty Fresh? Yes. Listen, lady. I'm Meat. Yeah? Meat. Meat. For Miss Lara? Yes. Meat. Is there a problem? Our instruction says I should leave it by the gate, man. No, no, no problem at all. Oh, hello. All right, thank you. She should use all this new one. She should use all this. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Do it, Lara. Now. Please give me a bigger, sharper weapon like axe. Shh. Auntie Lara, your delivery day here. Oh. Auntie Lara, Auntie Lara, your delivery day here. Hurry up, hurry up. Uh, but what if we chop him into pieces and then we leave a trail of blood everywhere? There'll be blood everywhere now. Okay. There might be another way. Ah, Sister Lara, is that you? Mm -hmm. How now? Ah, how are you doing now? Uh, I'm fine, Estella. How now? Mm, I've been fine. Um, I, I've not seen you since, so you know. I even asked Andrew of you. He said uh, you were coming down with fever. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm okay now. Thank uh, you. Mm -hmm. Are you sure it's not Junior? I expect. Uh, ah, sorry. Eh, uh, me and Andrew get talks. Mm. He's not around. I saw his car in the compound. Uh, uh, he's not. He's not around. Ah, okay. We should not forget this year. He promised me anyway. I'll tell him. Okay. Don't worry. I'll bring your scrapbook back for you. <laughs> you could always jump. But you can't move faster than a gun, and you'd be that burglar that I just had to shoot. Going home. <laughs> he thinks he's going home. <laughs> Wait. You never intended to let me go, did you? What did I ever do to you, Lara? Eh? This is unfair now. 
This is unfair. Unfair? Unfair? What the hell would you know about unfair? has to be off before a gun can kill you, B. You think this is funny? You think this is funny? This is not how I planned my day! This is not how I planned my life. You talk about unfair. Unfair is being repeatedly beaten and raped in the streets just so your family can feed. Lara, why did I have to go through that? I was only a child! So don't you dare talk to me about unfair! Lara, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want your pity. I want you to dump that stupid body! I'll, I'll dump it. I'm sorry? I'll dump this stupid body! I can't hear you! I'll dump this stupid body! Please don't kill me! Please! I don't deserve this! Please! Please, I don't want to die! Move! Move! Hurry up. I'm trying to figure out a way to dispose of a human body without leaving traces of blood. I'm going as fast as I can. You might want to watch your tone. You're not going to shoot me. Do you want to find out? Shoot me and let's see how you're going to dispose of two human bodies when you can't even dispose of one. Well, don't think I can't change my mind. Then give me my phone, okay? Your phone is slow. I'll be faster. <laughs> nice try. So? It says here that... Uh, there's a way you can totally dissolve the body. But you're going to need some type of acids. <laughs> Great. We're good to go then. We have acids. What? You planned this. What are you talking about? You had this whole thing taught out. You were actually tired of being abused. You actually had the plan to kill Andrew. So? I was only trying to help. No, you weren't. I only came here because I overheard you being beaten on the phone. You were trying to help yourself. What? Please, Etim. We both know that the only reason you're here is because you feel guilty about killing your sister. <laughs> Don't come any closer. I swear to God, I will <laughs> kill you! Ah, it's good to know there's a killer in there somewhere. Not the type that kills by mistake, but the type that actually plans to kill someone. Back up and drop the knife. Back up! I'm not a killer. Yes, you are. <laughs> Why me, though? You could have called anybody else in the world. Why me? I randomly called one of the numbers on the website. I must have made a mistake with one of the digits and I called you instead. And now you want to rope an innocent man into a crime that you already planned? Please. Innocent my foot. You actually insisted. Or don't you remember? And as you can probably tell by now, I don't waste opportunities. Crazy. Oh, thank you. Now let's do this. Move.
What is it? You want to cry for him? Carry this body into Please the bathroom, calm down, Joe. Joe. Don't fucking tell me to calm down. Why don't you fucking come and do it yourself? Don't yell at me! You want to shoot me? You want to try me? Shoot me now. You want to try me? Shoot me! You think I will shoot you? After all, I'll still die anyways. You shoot me now! <laughs> Rosa Beg, you get one thing where I won't make help me check for compound I beg. Yes, sir. Uh, five minutes. Okay, sir. Hey! I'm alive! Shut up! I'm alive! Be quiet! You are making noise! Yes, you are alive! He died twice in one day. Uh, hey, do you think he'll get up again? Because <laughs> that'll be the plot of one sick ass zombie movie. <laughs> okay, back to work. Take him in, take him in. Take him into the bathroom. Okay, ma. Okay, Welcome. Hey, how are you? Fine, sir. You got your no friends are going for your work. But it seems see, your brother will employ me come this house. He tell me see, if I see the best in the move one guy, I call you for phone. Now I be say I call you with that, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So someone is moving somehow. Uh, the team be say he gets one tenant for here. Eh? Mm. They bring delivery for him before. They come bring another one again. And that's I can't sit down for here. I can't hear one kind of sound. It be like saying I gone. Gone. How do you know it was a gun? I'm not sure, sir, but the way I hear him, I feel like say something not the okay. Let me just check first. I'm gonna check first. Okay, let's go. Bye, sir. Okay, break time's over. You need to get back to work. Move. Please, I can't. I'm so sorry. I just can't. What do you mean you can't? Look, are you not tired? You may be a cold-blooded killer, but I'm not, okay? <sighs> I just want to go home. Bullshit. Let me just go home, okay? Please. He would have killed you and I saved your pathetic life. Now move and go back to work. This is way too much drama for one day. Please. Shit. Listen, there's a policeman at the door. Jesus! Shut up, shut up. You answer the door and you make him go away or you are dead. I said it. I said it. Don't try me. Answer the door, make him go away, or I'll put a bullet in your head. Now move. How many policemen? Uh, good evening, yeah. Who are you? Now you bring the first Miss Consa. So, uh, where is Lara? Uh, I think she's uh, dressing up or something. So how about the young guy that lives here? Oh, Oga, um, Oga, Oga, Oga. I think he 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 went out to buy something. Ah, when he come out? What do you mean? She ain't go take permission for me before he come up on your house again. Uh, Bros, don't mind this guy. I think he went out to get something quickly. Okay. Um, mm. there's been a report of a loud sound coming from this apartment. Eh, uh, one extension, no. One socket, it just blew. Boof. Um, um, I, I, she even sent me to, to uh, call the security guy to maybe call an electrician to fix it. Okay, there's no problem. Do you know what? 
tell Andrew to call me as soon as he gets here, right? So they, they have your number, sir? Yeah, all the tenants have my number. Ah, okay, sir. He will call you. Right. Thank you, sir. Not bad. Have you ever considered acting? Young man, a minute, please. Who are you? Who wants to know? I'm Officer Jonathan from the State CID. Listen, if you let me go, I promise you nobody will ever hear about this. Ever, I swear it. Don't you get it? You are here to serve a purpose, and until that purpose is served, you are not going anywhere. I'm here to do something you don't have the balls to do. You came here to tell me to take control of my life, and that's exactly what I'm doing. By, by killing your man? Ah, oh, no, Etim, haven't you been listening? By killing my man, I'm making it look like you killed him, so I had to kill you in self-defense. Hello, guy. I did number 73, Alimi Street now. One officer will see me, Officer Jonathan. You don't stop me here. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Insurance. Insurance. Okay. You can keep recording, but I don't want my face in it. Because what you're doing right now is invasion of privacy. And I don't think I violated yours in any way. I've never done anything wrong to you. I have not known you from Adam. <laughs> I've only tried to help you. Haven't you heard? No good deed goes unpunished. Ah, oh, Abasi. Vitz. Etim. Yeah. I only ask of your name. And I'm here because of some complaints in the house. I make sure that everyone is safe. Okay. I'm rooting me. Okay. So you're rooting me. Do you live here? No. Lord, my friend is in there. Your friend is in there? Yeah, he... He came to see a lady called Omolara. Omolara... Atilara! Who upstairs? Atilara! Sit down you! Please, please! Ah. Ah. This video stop me. Please help her. Please, please. Lara. Lara. So officer, just tell me how screwed up am I? Understand. Okay. Listen, if you let me go, I promise you nobody will ever hear about this. Ever, I swear it. You are here to serve a purpose, and until that purpose is served, you are not going anywhere. I'm here to do something you don't have the balls to do. You 
You came here to tell me to take control of my life, and that's exactly what I'm doing. By, by killing your man? By killing my man, I'm making it look like you killed him, so I had to kill you in self-defense. Oh! Pay attention! Wow. You recorded it? How did you, how did you do that? Thanks to your friend. Which friend? So I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to jail. It's unless you have another crime to confess to. No, no, officer, I have no other crimes in my life. Okay. There's someone here to see you. Who? Sweetest girl ever. You are mom. You kept pressuring her. You kept pushing her until she broke under the pressure of your selfishness. So you think I and your mom killed my child? I think that you concerned yourself so much with the things you wanted for another person's life. You were so concerned about your public image that you didn't care. I didn't care? Whereas all I ever gave both of you, you and your sister, was the good in life. Was the good life. Well, thank you, Dad. The best in life. And now my sister is dead. Congratulations. You won. Okay. Congratulations, sir. You did it. You really hate us that much? Yes. I hate you people so much. Do you know how I got into this mess? Do you know? Because I was trying to save a woman from committing suicide. What? A stranger lured me to her home. Just because I wanted to do something. I wanted to do anything. Just to make up for... for. So you really blame us for everything that goes wrong in your own life? Won't you? I blame you because you never want to talk about anything, Dad. I disappointed you when I did not read medicine. Let's move on. Your daughter is terribly unhappy. Let's move on.
Your daughter is dead. Let's all move on. You know, your mother and I are going through ours too. Then why don't you guys ever say anything? We don't know how. What do you mean you don't know how? See, your generation, you people talk things over. You, 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 you meet in groups and talk things over. In our own generation, it's not like that. Yeah? We are taught to, to, to bottle up things within. We, 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 we just keep it, we just move on. I don't know how. We need help, Dad. You think I will ever forgive myself for what happened to your sister, my daughter? Do you know how many times we have tr I, I have tried to, 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 to end it up? End it all! I don't know how. We need help, Dad. We need help. How do you mean? We need therapy. Because I can't. I can't afford to lose anybody else like this. I can't afford to lose anybody else to this crazy psycho. I think I'll have to call some of my colleagues. When? When we get home or, or tomorrow. That's like telling Junior, go and get your shoes, we're going out. Call them now. He said he will call back later tonight. Call another one. What? Do you want this family to start healing? Of course. Call someone else now. And I will call Mentally Aware Nigeria Initiative. Mentally who? Just make the call, Dad. You know what? Here. Here, I want you to make the call. Scroll down to Dr. Nebo. Call him. He's a family psychologist. Yes. No, sir. This is his son. How old, sir? Thank you, Dad. You're welcome.